So I'm about to change your shoes. What is it? Previously with Peyton. Oh my God! <laughs> look at my room! Wow, look at your room. Wow, Mom. First time sleeping in cabin room in her bed with her? This fit'll be a breeze! It's your world, girl. I'm just a squirrel in it trying to get a, a acorn. I honestly feel like Michael Myers had retired and somebody else had kind of went up to him and like, hey, my boy, you know what I'm saying? You need to get back out here. You know what I'm saying? You need to get back outside. You mind if I come in here and sleep in here with you? I'm scared. Why you scared, Mom? I don't like watching scary movies. I'm afraid of the boogeyman. I'm looking pretty today. Oh, you are always looking pretty. Always. Make sure you're all caught up on the vlogs. If you have not checked out that mom vlog, definitely check it out. It's super entertaining and heartfelt. And let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. Yeah. I'm in New York and you're on Long Island. I don't even treat you that good, girl. Why are you smiling? It's three in the morning. Why are you driving? Why are you stopping for gas to get on the highway? Just to end up in my place. Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. So today was an eventful day. I went and got a silk press. So this is my natural hair. And let's do a little lint check here. Let's do a little lint check. This feels so good to just pull my hair. Oh, it feels so good. So we are like sitting right on top of my areola right now. Um, if you guys have been keeping up with my channel, then uh, you know that my hair was like down here, but I cut off like two inches because I was trying to cut off the remaining portion of my relaxer. So yeah, we went and got a silk press today. I actually signed up for their membership to do it twice a month. And I'm gonna start back on my Nutrafol vitamins because my hair is really, really thin. It may have something to do with COVID, I don't know. But I just went to Whole Foods after that and ran a couple of errands off camera. Um, so I went and got some plain bagels. So I want to start making like um, toasted avocado bagels. So I picked up some avocados from Whole Foods. Y'all, Whole Foods is high as hell. Why y'all didn't tell me Whole Foods was so doggone high? I ain't even get that much and I spent $88. And their bags aren't as strong as Trader Joe's. One of the bags broke. Ooh. It wasn't even a lot of stuff in it. It broke on me. So what did I get? I got some oat creamer for my coffee. It's the California Farms oat creamer. I'm doing away with dairy. My dermatologist in the comments be telling me that I need to stop eating dairy. So... Also, the girls in the comments said I need to get some sort of veggie wash because obviously I'm washing my fruit wrong by just washing it with water. So I picked this up too. Got some bananas, grapes, avocados, this guacamole, spicy guacamole. I just got it for like a snack. Then, even though Twalk the Hope, T-Walk, I guess, that guy on Instagram that say everything bad for you and causes cancer. Even though he said the eggs totally are bad for you, baby, I had to give me some eggs because, come on now, I'm working out, I'm lifting, I need my protein. 
So yeah, this is all I got. I got some more peaches too. Hopefully these are good. Um, bananas, avocados, grapes, eggs. Yeah, I didn't get that much and somehow I still spent $88. It's not a lot here. I don't know. Where are the instructions? Oh my God. Oh my God. I threw the instructions away. You are lying. Bruh, I threw the instructions away. All right, boom. So I totally threw away the instructions to um, installing this. So we are going to wing it. I don't know what these are for. I have no idea what what these are for and then they sent me some what is this oh this is just dandy some tape what is this this is this is the okay <laughs> this is the thing that holds it is this like 3m tape what is this Something said, Peyton, just send it back and get a new one because I done threw, but I've already threw away. I've already threw away the, um, the box, so I can't even send it back. Stay bunkin', y'all know we run the town yeah. Hood nigga And I keep a bad bitch around Thick bitch Long hair, yellow, white, red, brown Hood nigga And my Chevy sit on 24 Flats look like flapjack Pancakes, you know Hood nigga I'ma play the game how it go They can take me out the hood But I'ma keep it hood for And I don't need a skill for the work I can eyeball perp I am not too jerk Jerk you make your situation worse You don't wanna take a ride in that long black hearse All eyes on me, shout her, I'm a bomb first I'm the truth and they say the truth hurts Hustle me, hard work, hard work If you scared, go to church Man, this rap shit is easy Every beat I get, I murk Cause I'm a hood nigga I keep the perk by the pound The trap stay bunkin' Y'all know we run the town Hood nigga And I keep a bad bitch around You know I love the way you feel us, said my chinchilla. Yeah, yeah, I did that. I did that. No leaks, no breaks. You hear me? Yeah. You know when God made me, he gave me this big ass head for a reason, baby. It's a it's a nice size brain in it, bitch. Don't get it twisted. She's really, really smart. I'm so proud of me. Like, I did as installed it. No installation instructions. How about it? How about it? So, this was the previous one. Like, I will cross the ocean for you. I will go and bring you the moon. I will be your hero, your strength. Anything you need And I will be the sun Anyway though, so yeah Baby, one, one thing I will do I might not cross the ocean for you But baby, I might build a house I can build a house with nails on What the fuck are you talking about? For you I will Lay my life on the line for you I will fall, for you I will die. Bitch, I'm so, I'm so motherfucking excited that I just put this. Oh my 
хаосу, по-моему. I am a superwoman. Definitely fit to start getting cozy up on the with the fire pit. Wow, it's freezing outside, y'all. Why is it so cold in Texas? This is unusual. You can be over here where people can see you walking past the door. Maybe it's time to order break out the hot chocolate. I need to order some hot chocolate off Amazon. It's cold up there. The ther my thermostat says 69. I don't have any air on down here, and it's 69 in the house.
on my body, I do it with ease. He with my body, he telling me please. I'm walking past me, sniffing my breeze. He jacking me, but he not my boo. He like the jewelry, I wear my boots. I cannot leave you when I got a suit. You want your love, I just want the blue. Grabbing my ass while I'm doing my dance. She keep on staring, cause she'll be a fan. Damn, we gotta stick to the plan. He mad as fuck, I won't give him a chance. But still, he gon' do what I say. I swear I'll be stuck in my way. But still, he gon' do what I say. I swear I'll be stuck in my way. That nigga a munch Nigga a eater, he ate it for lunch Bitch on my body, I get what I want like You thought I was feeling you? That nigga a munch So what I'm gonna do, cause I need to go and start editing, I'm just gonna take two protein boost. Um and then once I'm finished editing, which it shouldn't take me that long, maybe like an hour, then I'll make me some lunch. So that's gonna be my my snack. It's gonna be like a little snack. So this is, these are uh, 530 calories. So that's 1,060 calories right there. Plus my fruit. My breakfast, I know it had to be over 1,000 calories. I'm loving this here though. I was gonna dye this platinum blonde like a chestnut brown because I don't know, I wasn't feeling it at first, but now I'm feeling it, especially with the blunt cut. This is how I'm going to wear my hair to shades with. Oh my God, I'm ovulating. Do y'all get ovulating cramps? Oh my God, they hurt worse than cramps. Like, why does my body have to be so aggressive with telling me I need some? Like, okay, okay. It ain't nothing I can do about it, I'm single. I can't do nothing about it right now. Okay, who would I be if I didn't share a HelloFresh meal with you guys? I know you can't taste it, but let me tell you, these pulled pork bulgogi wraps baby chef's kiss i'm gonna show you how i made it and also tell you more about hellofresh and i want to thank hellofresh for sponsoring today's video i'm getting lazy about a day baby i am getting lazy about a day baby listen between me decorating my home moving things around building things exercising running errands the last thing i want to do is go to the grocery store okay and hellofresh comes through with a cape on by helping me save time money and stress effortlessly they work with my schedule literally the only thing that i have to do is pick what day i want it to be delivered that is it and be at home because people will steal my hellofresh if you know you know but they also have super super delicious recipes hellofresh has meals covered with a weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items all delivered to your door they help you reach your goals so if you are vegetarian they got you pescatarian they got you fit and wholesome they got you even quick and easy they got me because when i tell you i did not feel like cooking today i did not but the great thing about HelloFresh is that they help me eat sustainably. So even though I didn't feel like cooking, I didn't have to like make something that was super unhealthy for me. I'm trying to stay fit and wholesome and eat healthy things because I want to live as long as possible, you know, past the age of 70. So I love that HelloFresh helps me eat sustainably. 
If you have not checked out HelloFresh already and at least tried one box, what are you waiting on? HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. If you're not trying HelloFresh, then what are you doing, okay? I highly recommend HelloFresh and all you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use code 65 paid for 65% off plus free shipping. Again, let's go to HelloFresh.com and use code 65 Payton for 65% off plus shipping. Look at this meal, honey. Look at this. I mean, I would never have made wraps without HelloFresh. I would never have bought pulled pork if it wasn't for HelloFresh. So thanks HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Oh baby, I'm feeling all sort of things I never wanna see you ever leave Maybe I'll take you to my family I am gonna take my bang clip ins out And I'll just read And style them in the morning Because I get oily And I don't want my bangs getting oily Baby, this forehead of mine, this forehead of mine is gonna let it shine. Oh, this little forehead of mine is gonna let it shine. Whoa, whoa, this forehead of mine is gonna let it shine. I know my neighbor's sick of me. We gonna have to be careful sleeping in these. They are heavy, especially after a fresh silk press. You heard me kind of weak. I want to take them out, but if I take them out, I'm not gonna put them in back. I'm not gonna put them in right tomorrow. So my skin was doing good, and my esthetician wants me to use this every night, four to five times a week, right? My skin was doing good. It seemed like. The breakouts was drying out. The little white heads were uh, going away, going down. Um, I used a brand new sponge. I didn't use any dirty brushes on my face. Not saying I have been in the past, but you know, sometimes when you using like your bronzer brush or your blush brush, you might not wash it like after every makeup application you totally should though so um to the ladies in the place with style and grace uh wash your makeup brushes sis because i know that there are some people that literally just don't it's not good for you um but anyway i Used this last night. I ain't have no breakouts. Literally, I have none. Just this one little cystic situation right here that I'm trying to make go away. Put this on last night. Wake up this morning. Skin look a mess. So, this shit right here was $155. It's going in the fucking trash. I'm about to purge a whole bunch of shit. I'm, uh, you know what? I'm for the next two weeks. I'm just gonna start using stuff to see if I break out. And if I break out, I'm gonna throw it away. So that's number one. Like all over here was good. I ain't have no issues. Now this is fit. This is fit a flare up bad. I can I can feel it. This is about to flare up really really bad. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this veil primer away too because this is kind of old. I got a handheld nozzle. <laughs> and what about it? Good morning. 
morning, good morning. The time is 11.48. It's definitely fall because <laughs> it's 69 degrees in my room. Um, I don't have the AC on because it's set to keep my room at 71. So because it's 69, it's just not coming on, which is cool, which is fine. I, I feel like I sleep better when it's cold in my house than when it's hot. When it's hot, I wake up in the middle of the night, thirsty. I can't go back to sleep, so I'm fine with it. I'm, I don't feel like I'm going to be turning the heat on, like unless it gets down to like... 60 i probably won't turn the heat on but today um i have to film some more content this has just been like a content week i spilled my vase tilted over over there where the sitting area is and the oil from the candle wasted on the um floor because it knocked the candle over while i was filming my buyer's remorse video yesterday and so there's like this wax stain in the carpet and i don't even know how to get wax out of carpet like let me google how do you get wax out of the carpet because i feel like i should shampoo my carpet right over there like just spot treat it um how to get wax out of carpet Dampen a white cotton towel, fold it in half, and place it over the... What the hell? <sighs> My internet has been going in and out. I don't know what the hell is going on. Press an iron set on high over the towel for 10 seconds. The heat will draw the wax out of the carpet and into the towel. Repeat until the wax is gone. You may have to hold the iron in place for up to 30 seconds. Wow, I was not going to do that. That's how you get wax out of carpet. That's interesting. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, yeah, we're going to do that now. Because I cannot function with this thing over there in the carpet. Like, I, I don't even want to eat. I definitely need to eat breakfast first, but I don't even want to eat until I get this done first. What's this? Okay, so it's two little small areas. <laughs> I wasted my Santal 26 candle, so let me get the iron. Okay. that worked i am so glad that i googled that instead of trying to shampoo my carpet because i saved myself from wasting a lot of unnecessary time and and chances are me shampooing my carpet wouldn't have did it so before i make my breakfast i have to wash my dishes why I'm like that, but I can add dishes in the sink all day after I eat breakfast. Um, but before I eat breakfast, I have to wash all the dishes in the sink. Like before I cook, the kitchen have to be clean. Are y'all like that? What is going on with this dishwasher? I got this wok from IKEA. I also have one from Home Goods. This one from IKEA is dishwasher safe. The one from Home Goods ain't. It got rusty on me from washing it in the dishwasher. I think that wok was like $39.99 at IKEA. I was like, IKEA. First of all, when y'all prices get so high. Y'all done sat up here and get, made Ikea get beside they I see Ikea got a $39.99 little oil. Uh, what? I 
it. I really need to walk because I like making um, fried rice. And in my opinion, walks cook fried rice better than just regular skillets. Um, I feel like a regular skillet make my rice all hard and overcooked. The wok cooks it to perfection. And then of course the, the best option is to just, you know, make it on a griddle. All right. Hey girl. So we're back. Um, I just looked at the footage for the home tour. I don't know if this is God telling me that I shouldn't do a foolish furnished home tour or what, but this is the second time I have filmed it and I hate the footage okay i let uh my guy friend juice film with his sony camera and i'm out of focus the whole time and it's just it's just not giving so we're gonna try to do it one more time um i'm gonna change my hair have on a different outfit we're gonna use my camera i'm probably gonna buy a new sd card because these sand disc sd cards make my camera overheat and i just don't have the opportunity to like film long takes of footage um but yeah i just finished editing a mom vlog i don't know if i'm gonna call it a mom vlog or just a regular vlog and i'm trying to debate if i want it to go live tomorrow since it is a short vlog instead of saturday i don't know but it is uploading now um it's almost 40 minutes long so i'm do i'm de deciding i'm deciding but um yeah, we about to pack for Shay's wedding because I'm going to Florida, Florida tomorrow for Shay's wedding. If you guys don't remember Shay, okay, so me and Shay got history, okay? So when I first started vlogging and I was in my old apartment, Shay was the one that sent me the pots and pans because I was always saying how like I cook a lot, but when I'm making like big meals, I don't have a lot of pots and pans. And I was just saying, I need to buy me some pots and pans. So she ended up buying me like this pot and pan set. Um, and we just got really close after that. And then, um, she invited me to her wedding and then we went to, she flew here and we went to, um, Alex Ivory's, con Alec Isley, try Alex Isley's concert together. Um, and now I'm getting ready to go to her wedding. I'm not going to be in the wedding, but I am going to it and it is formal. So if you guys watched that very unfiltered day in my life, <laughs> Um, where I was dress shopping and I asked you guys to um, guess which one I chose. If you all chose the red dress, then baby, you know me so well, okay? So I'm going to wear this hair. Um, I don't know. It might not be a good idea to wear my natural hair in Florida, but we're going to give it a whirl, child. But yes, I end up getting this dress. And Shay's picking me up tomorrow, so we're going to have kind of like a pre-bridal slumber party i got a nice room at this um water park resort um right outside of orlando because she was just telling me that like she didn't have a bridal shower so we're gonna have like a bridal slumber party so she's picking me up tomorrow and um yeah we're gonna i, I bought this big old room i think i bought i got like a three bedroom uh room suite so I'm like, if you want to come, you know, because your your husband isn't supposed to see you the night before. If you want to come stay with me, that's totally fine. Like, don't worry about it. And we can, like, go to the spa and hopefully it's nice weather. We can, like, go to the pool and all of that. So I'm getting ready to pack. Um, I am so mad at myself because I said that I was going to go and buy some shoes today for that dress. I don't feel like I have shoes for this dress. those but i don't know like why did i get a red dress why why no girl Ugh. okay let me go upstairs and see what i got in the closet because this is ridiculous why did i get a red dress Am I tripping or these, th does these not look like they go? Am I tripping? Baby, let me try this on. Look her, I ain't gonna try this whole damn dress on all over again. I know it fit. I'm gonna slide one of these legs in it. 
and kiss my ass. Okay. Let's see here. See, that's what that's what that's why you need a mirror dresser. I ain't even gotta walk all the way over there. Over to the mirror. Okay, so the dress is burgundy and the shoes is what? A dark red? It matched to me. Hell, that's my story and I'm sticking the hell to it. You ain't supposed to be looking at me anyway. You're supposed to be looking at the bride. And for any one of you that are wondering, the bride approved. I sent her three pictures of dresses. I had the blue, the silver, and this one. She picked this dress. If she had to pick the blue, I would have went with the blue. She picked this dress. So I don't want to hear it in the comments. I don't. Because I know what one of y'all going to try to say. Y'all be slick trying to come for me in the comments. I see it. This uh, hotel have a steamer. Should I pack my steamer? Lady in red. I think I started something. I got what I wanted. Did, did, and I can't feel nothing. Superhuman, even when I'm fucking Viagra, popping every single record. Auto tuning, zero emotion, muted emotion. Pitch corrected, computed, emotion, uh -huh. I play when on a model bra with a Hollywood smile Ow. Strip her booty in a rack like wow Brain like Berkeley, better at Coachella I went to see Jigga, she went to see C Trip Perfect, I took a seat on the ice cold dawn She handed me a ice blue bong, whatever She said she wanna be a dentist really bad in school paying for tuition doing porn in the fast at least you're working for girl like voices singing let's be jolly deck the house with boughs of holly rocking around the christmas tree who's ready for christmas i'm definitely ready for christmas i don't know about you but i'm ready for christmas all right i'm ready yeah so I kind of want to surprise my auntie and um, just pop up at her house Sunday. But then who the hell gonna come and get me from the airport? So I've decided to switch back to Cerave. The skin better. Baby, I'm not making my skin no damn better. High ass damn shit. That's what I could appreciate about before I had a little coin. I feel like when it came to uh, splurging on skincare, I made better financial decisions because I already knew that I couldn't afford the shit. So I was like, eh, drugstore is working for me. I'm just going to stick with drugstore. But now... I'm, I'm kind of like easily sold on things when I feel like, okay, if I spend the, this money on it, if I invest in my skin, it'll work. But, no, nah, this shit ain't working for me. My skin don't like chemical peels, which are expensive. My skin does not like clear and brilliant, which is expensive. Um, I will say the micro needling worked. The vampire facials worked when I was going to, what was her name? I think it was Allison. Well, Alyssa, it was somebody that started with A. The, the, the clear girl that would ask a lot of questions. Like, ooh, baby, she was deep diving in, in the ocean, honey. Um, but when I was going to her, I think the vampire facials was definitely, like, transforming my skin and helping. So I might start going back to her and getting that done. Those vampire facials are not cheap, though. They not. But I can say that they work. Um... And I just have to stick to Old Faithful. My skin likes astringent. I mean, 
it's 2% salicylic acid like most of these products any damn way so a lot of people would be like no you shouldn't use a stringent it dries your skin out baby my skin needs to be dry i have excess sebum plus internal bacteria it needs to be dry it needs to be dry like this what's in here Oh, zinc is in here, child. Let me go to town. All right, so my flight was delayed, so I was able to get a little work done, um, but I'm headed to the airport. This is what I am wearing. I'm super comfortable. I'm giving, like, a tomboy, androgynous vibe. So um, this pajama set, it's, like, luxury pajamas that you can wear as, like, you know, streetwear. Um, this is from St. Perry. I'm also wearing the socks to match. The bucket hat is from Emilio Pucci. I'm wearing my Fendi necklace, JBW Watch, Tory Burch necklace, and my new Air Jordan Retro Ones in my favorite color, yellow for the honey. All right, so Shay told me that I definitely could like vlog her wedding, which I think is great because she'll always have that, you know, memory. Um... So I will be doing work while I'm um, there. I will definitely be editing um, so I can get a video up over the weekend as well. Um, and I have a little surprise, but I'm not gonna tell you until the day of. So you just gotta make sure you watch and keep updated, baby, because one thing she know how to do is stay private. Okay, so the look, am I giving GQ, GQ fashion? GQ real nigga fashion, yeah, yeah. All right, let's head to the airport. My cousin, she's here, and she came from Georgia. She drove, and she's staying with her sister. And I mean, if whatever you want. To. Okay, I definitely I, see. It was my intention to land earlier, mm -hmm. so I don't even know if we're gonna be able to go to the spot now because the it's spot okay. probably closed. It's okay. I wanted to take you to the spot it's and stuff. Okay. We can do other stuff. We can chill, girl. Just chilling. Like this whole two past two weeks have been pretty hectic. I'm I'm okay with doing it. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. You got your spinning night bag. I do. I sure okay. got my spinning night bag. <laughs> Y'all look what she had in the car. They won for me now. I ain't for the, I ain't for the sit up here and say she had them waiting on me. But I did. I had just forgot about the these. Do Y'all remember when I I had finished the whole bag in the blog? Where you get these from? Amazon. No, my cousin gave them to me last night. She know I liked them. Uh, my host that's hosting the wedding, she hosts a lot of events like Atlanta here. And she threw me a last bling before the bling or the before the ring mm -hmm. little karaoke thing at um, one of the little lounges here. And I went last night and my cousin went early and like kind of decorated and she had like all my favorite stuff. And it was that. I love your nails. They're pretty. Thank you. I just got them done yesterday. Mm -hmm, they're and perfect. And my my nail tech, she, oh my god, I cried because I just I just cry. I cry when I'm happy and sad. But then I did my Brazilian wax. 
And she gave it to me. She she did it for free. She's actually gonna be at the wedding, but she did it for free. The Vajay, the Vajay, the Vajay show, the Vajay show. Mm-hmm. Ooh, she, you ready, huh? I stay ready. <laughs> if you stay ready, you ain't I gotta have, get ready. You know what? I had a Vajay show in so long. I and she is one. so freaking good. She's like the best. Like even like we just with her waxes, her sugar waxes, she automatically does the. Uh, um, ingrown, like mm -hmm. she does that. Love that. Oh my god, I love her. I I'm love actually her. about to start back going to my home girl, the naked facials in um Dallas because you know she does the hydro facials mm -hmm. with the vajayshals, and um, she doesn't do sugar waxing, but she does like organic wax. And I'm about to start back going to her because. I am still very much getting hair. And that's just lazy hair removal. I'm so mad I, I spent two thousand dollars on my I hair. was talking to my best friend from Tennessee because she did she does the laser as well. And I was telling her, I was like, Well, Peyton said um it's not it's not worth it because mm -hmm. she paid over two thousand dollars and, and it's she, darker. And I told her that too. Well, my I was, friend I was expecting to come out pretty pink, baby. You would have thought I was exactly. a fair woman when I pulled them draws down. <laughs> That's what I was, and this, this, um, this, my, my waxer, she actually does lightning. So she gave me a couple free, um, lightning. I should have got my shades. I meant to get my shades out of my, my overnight bag because I have put Some them in. Someone told me to, uh, bring some shades, but none of them went with my, with, went with my dress. Mm, hold on. I might have a hair in here that you can put on. Oh, it's okay. I, I'll probably just give me some. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm getting married tomorrow. That's Does it feel insane. funny? Does it feel funny? It feels oh I don't I don't know. It almost feels surreal. Like, am I really here? Like, is that really you? Girl, you about to be a wife. Am I driving? Wow, a wife! I was gonna stay a divorcee. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't wanna be nowhere around that table no more. I'm scared. Oh my god. I'm scared, honey. I He's just gonna really have marry a whole me. bunch of married friends. Crazy. But then when y'all go on y'all, uh, yo, uh, huh? I can't wait to meet him. But then when y'all go on y'all, like, uh, uh, why did I get married trips? I ain't gonna be invited. Yes, you will. There's usually a single friend, isn't there? I don't want to be training them. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm in Florida. So we're getting ready to go into the Millennial Mall. Yes. Millennial Mall. We're gonna do a little shop shop. You know what I'm saying? Get my girl some... Some goodies. See what this mall got to offer. You know I just got paid this Friday night. I'm feeling all right. Oh Lord, now she's stuck. Oh God, it's so heavy. <laughs> Your heart is hard to carry after dark Try to blame for what we could have been Cause look at what we are Your friends are scared to tell you you went too far Funny that it's always been all about you from the start I met someone new last night And we kicked it And I'm going back there tonight You know what's on my mind this time Tropical in so long because they don't have it in um Dallas. I love it here. Girl, what are you doing? Shut it, shut it, shut it, you the bride. Let me open the door oh for you. Gosh. I walk in looking like a stud. Hey. I'm a bad bitch and I got bad anxiety. 
right, we are here in the room. We are staring at the Grove Resort Water Park. I think it's not too far. It's not too far from Disney World, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not too far from Disney World. I think it's like really, really close, honestly. And this resort, these rooms come in like an Airbnb. Like, you got a full kitchen, washer and dryer. I'll go ahead and show you guys the room and then we'll come back and talk. So, check the room out. Be right back. It's the lighting in the bathroom for me. What's the noise? Because this is not me. It's the lighting in the bathroom for me. So, as you can see, I have a three bedroom, two full bath room. It's given apartment. It's definitely given apartment. Um, it's super nice. I mean, it's a water park resort. I don't think you can really ask for more. Um, it's clean, it's quiet, with the exception of this little vent here. So the wedding starts tomorrow at 4.30, so I do have a little time to like play, look around. I ain't bring a swimsuit, so I'm definitely not going to the water park, even though the weather is going to be nice. I saw that it gets really, really cold at night here lately, so that gives me that the water going to be cold and she cannot get in cold water. I just, the, the way my body set up, I can't. So, I am going to go to the spa though, because you know your girl got to go to a spa every time she goes anywhere. Um, and I hope that me and Shay can go to the spa before she uh, dips off to go and get ready for the wedding. So, um, we'll have breakfast and hopefully go to the spa and like do a little girl time or whatever. Because um, like I said, she didn't. Uh, she didn't she wasn't able to have a bridal shower or she didn't have a bridal shower so i just want to like you know be there for my sis because she was there for me you know what i'm saying so yeah we about to have like a little slumber party pajama party we were gonna go to dinner but i'm sleepy because i didn't go to sleep till like five o'clock this morning um i don't know why i do that i stay up late when i know i have an early flight so i will sleep on the flight that way the flight seems shorter so I'm a little beat. Definitely not jet lag, but I'm definitely beat. So I'm about to take a shower, put my pajamas on. We're about to like kiki, have a little girl talk and eat and you know just chill. So I'm about to unpack and uh yeah. Talk to y'all in a minute. Should I take it out of the box? That's okay, yeah. You 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 put it back in the box. Yeah. Yeah, let me smell it. Cause it, uh, as soon as you sat down, I got a whiff of it and I'm like, wow, this smells good. Black tulip. Oh, so it's not the oil. Mm -hmm. It's just the perfume. This is, yeah, cause the perfume was only 28. The oil was like 90 something. The, this was $28? $8. Well, that's what I read on the, the little sign. They said $28. Oh sure yeah, this smells good. Don't it smell amazing? Mm. Nest Black Tulip. And of course I had to put on my This is very unique. I love this. I love that mm -hmm. smell. So I'm definitely gonna um, spray that on my body. Okay, don't my forget that. Oh, I won't. And this is your gift. Your wedding gift. I already gave her fiance his when we went and picked up something from the house because she didn't. She couldn't show herself because I believe in that. I yes. totally believe in that. As a divorcee, I still believe in that. Like you're not supposed to see the bride before the uh, the wedding day. But this is to you. May you have all the light and shine on your wedding day. And this is the only shade that I have to give, honey. Uh -huh. Don't make me cry on camera. Oh, you are glowing. Thank you. Very nice. Ooh, this is nice. 
You over there glowing too. What you done put on your skin? Y'all, she got such pretty skin. Thank you. I sprayed my Mario Aduski. Mm -hmm. Spray that. Mm -hmm. We got out of Sephora. That I left at home. That's all I do. I um. Oh, and I'll show you my face scrub. So you don't moisturize? That's my moisturizer. Um, that the, is. the the Mario Badescu? Mm -hmm. mm. But I'll show you the um exfoliant that I get from my esthetician as well that does my wax. Mm -hmm. She's also, she does really good facial. And she gave me like a um exfoliant that I could use. And I used it tonight with my, and then I sprayed my Mario on. So yeah. But these are pretty and they're pink. One of my favorite, favorite colors. I love those. So let's see. What what she's giving? Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. It gives it like a seventies. I feel like seventies. Mm -hmm. With love the fair faucet hair, I love it. I love their prime. Goes very well with your face. Why thank you? But I wanted to give them something practical that they could use, especially going on a honeymoon and going on vacation. I knew where y'all was going was going to be sunny and hot. Yes. And I wanted to give them something that they would use and always use. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody needs a nice, good pair of sunglasses. Yes. So um, I got her and her husband V some coach sunglasses. Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Very, very appreciated. They're beautiful. You're welcome. Good morning. Y'all, Shay so doggone sweet. I love her. She steamed my dress while I was asleep. Thank you. dark so when I looked out in the patio I didn't know what the hell I was looking at honestly because um it was so dark so I thought it was water but it's actually a whole bunch of trees and a lake and a fountain oh this feels so good y'all oh oh mm. so this is how I wrap my hair up at night so it don't get tangled. Cause these clippings mixed in with my hair will tangle. Bad. Okay, so the wedding doesn't start to full, so I'm gonna see if I can get a. I'm gonna see if I can get an appointment at the spa. And these are the bride's nails. Look at that ring, honey. Shout out to Nika J Nails and Roulette Memoir. Hey girl, it's one of the PayPal's. They're both PayPal's. You did an amazing job. I love this shade. And Shay's Bridal Beauty. Yeah. She's glowing, you guys. Thank Let's you. see the uh the um oh. the travel set. That's cute. Thank you. Thank you. She ready. All right, so just dropped Shay off. Now, um, she let me use her car. She's so sweet, like literally the sweetest PayPal I have. And a lot of y'all are sweet, but baby, Shay is a really, really sweet. Like she goes above and beyond just to make you feel so at home. She's like super hospitable because she, she didn't have to let me drive her car. I could have just stayed at the um the the room and I would have Ubered. You know what I'm saying? Because I think my Uber. I mean, damn, I think my, um, the vacation home is 20 minutes away. So it's not, it's not far at all. It's far from the airport, but it's not far from the place. So I'm trying to look up cause I need a massage y'all. Like I ain't, I ain't had nobody touch my body in a while. Oh, this one real close. This one is actually here. Okay. Let's call them and see if they have any openings this morning. All right, leave it to an Asian um, massage parlor that can work me in. I tried to call Massage Envy, and uh, they were booked up. So we are going to go to this place called... Oh, my Lord. We are going to go to this place called... Um, oh, my Jesus. Let me, let me get my life together. Hold on, y'all. Go back that way. Help. 
Okay, so we're going to this place called Oasis Massage. It's 18 Starting minutes away, to Oasis so Massage. I should get there at 1144. In 800 feet, bear right onto North Lakeview Avenue. All right, let me get my lot together and put my seatbelt on and out as well. We're here. Here, hey, and in Dallas. 60 minutes for the 60 minute ride. Um, I want the 90 minute combination. All right, we headed back to the room. <clears throat> the little nap that I got. So I ended up getting the impossible burger from Burger King. I didn't even know Burger King had impossible burgers. It was good. It did have like this weird little aftertaste but in my opinion it was more healthier than getting a ground beef burger. Slow down because I'm going to land in your lane. Yeah, it was good. At the next traffic lights, turn left. I would have liked them to drop my fries fresh. I ain't had Burger King in so long. <clears throat> but it was good. And that nap that I had Stay at the, the massage place, the it was a good ass nap. Chad, why I have a dream that Waka Flocka DM'd me them little googly the eyes? Lights, a whole the bunch of them too. You know them to little eyes that niggas be sending you, sending you looking to the left? Are they looking to the left or the right? Yeah, they looking to the left. Yeah, they looking to the left. Them eyes. I had a dream. A Waka Faka DM me them damn eyes. I can't stand when a dude do that. Ooh. I know it's supposed to mean I'm look. Why I thought I had broke another nail. I know it's supposed to mean I'm looking for you, but what the hell is you looking for? What, what, what are you looking for? To waste my time? Instagram is not a dating site. If you that damn interested, you you can you can email me. You can email me. Hey, I was on your Instagram and I think that you are a very beautiful woman. I would love to take you out. What the fuck am I supposed to do with them damn little googly eyes, them little weird eyes looking to the left? I woke up feeling so disloyal to Tammy. I wanted to tell her, but I don't I don't do that. I don't do that. Cause quiet as kept, I get sent them damn googly eyes all the damn time, and I don't say nothing. Especially if it's from somebody that is connected to somebody that I'm connected to. Like, I just don't feel like that that's, that's right to, like, go run and tell that person, hey, you know your ex was in my DM? Like, I feel like that's very hurtful. That's, that's just me, though. I don't feel like that's something that a woman wants to hear is all of a sudden your ex is interested in your still current friend if you interested in me now shit, you was interested in me then Stay you the just don't line. grow I'm interest for, for somebody knowing that they cool with your ex at the next traffic lights turn right okay back at the room we didn't do a what do we forget to pack and i actually did forget something i forgot my fancy eyebrow pencil so i picked up the one size beauty by patrick star i picked up his micro brow defining defining pencil in um dark brown so brow kiki or something like that then i also i've been needing more matte primer um and i think the primer that i have might be expired i don't know i'm just trying to use all new products and make sure that i'm not using any makeup that's expired or like uh, dirty brushes or anything like that so I'm trying to like really figure out like what's breaking me out so I switched up and I'm trying the milk primer and this is the pore eclipse mattifying primer because I get oily I bought these Sephora matcha tea face masks and it says these instantly mattify skin reduces the appearance of imperfections and for skin that is clear, purified, and matte. So I'm gonna use one of these before I do my makeup so I make sure I mattify my skin. And then I also got these cucumber eye mask as well. I ain't really sure if I got a lot of time to do this. 
I also never knew that they had a Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom um, body cream. So I got it in this one instead of the Wood Station Sea Salt. I love the Wood Station Sea Salt. I feel like it really moisturizes my skin. It helps with my eczema. But I also really love this scent. So I'm trying it out in this scent. Hopefully um, it does the same thing as the other one. And y'all know I am a foundation junkie. So I got the Very Valentino sunscreen uh light lasting perfecting foundation this is supposed to be 24 hours and i think full coverage i don't think i'm gonna put it on today because i don't like trying out makeup when i'm going to events so i'm gonna wear what i know um uh, works then um by the way i did take shea shopping so it wasn't like a mile run for me to like pick up stuff she wanted to go in sephora so like you know what I'm saying? While I was in there, I just picked up some stuff that I needed. And then we went over to Neiman Marcus. And I saw this in Sephora, but they were sold out of it. So I went over in Neiman Marcus. And pretty much, I got a, like a buy one, get one free. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Shimmering Body Oil Duo. So you got the Soleil Blanc and the Soleil Nesh for guess how much? $75 what i was like hell yeah i want that because i went in there to just get the soleil blanc right and she was like we're sold out of the big one but we do have this duo and i was like shit i was i wanted this size anyway so to know that because i know in sephora this size wasn't 35 dollars. there's no way so i got two for 75 baby excited okay and i think i'm gonna put the soleil nedge on Mm, it smells so good. What is that? What am I smelling that smells so good? I think I'm going to put the Soleil Nege on. I wanted to put on the Soleil Blanc, but I love how the Soleil Nege smells too. So I don't know. We're going to decide. But I'm about to hop in the shower and start getting ready because it's almost 3 and the wedding starts at 4.30. So it takes 30 minutes to get back over there. So I need to hurry up. trying to peek through i'm just gonna take y'all off now listen oh it 
hurts. What perfume are we gonna put on? I'm thinking papyrus molecular. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. What are you looking like with? Huh. Oh. Oh. Ow! Fuck these those pasties. Ooh. Ooh wee. Ow. Didn't even need them. Oh my god, this smells so good. This way better than the soul like bomb. Why I don't watch scary movies. 
And I really was gonna try to take off in these shoes. It definitely would have been a clear woman moment. You know how the clear girls always fall in scary movies. Yeah, it would have been that. It would have been that. It's giving, it's giving he following me. I hope he not. Yeah, he is. Oh, God. Help. Help. So, I cannot. I cannot. I don't know where he done went and walked to, but I'm about to dot the damn dough. Hold on. I'm going to let him get a little bit further. Oh, shit. Now he ain't coming back. Fuck. the red one for from um that unfiltered filter day in my life uh i told y'all to like guess which dress that i picked so if you picked the red dress you were correct like i said shay approved this dress i am completely nude underneath i'm sorry if there's too much information but i don't have on a shaper this is the shape yeah okay so yeah and it's like super I was kind of self-conscious about that. I'm not going to lie because she wanted to be appropriate. But the shoes definitely went. So, yeah. We were cute. Now it's time to unwind. I ain't washed my makeup off yet because I'm getting ready to edit. And um, once I'm done, this when I'm going to wash my face and pack but right now, I want a video. I want this video to go up tomorrow. So, I'm going to watch a little TV and edit. Oh, she caught me. Hold on. Hello, ma'am. Hi, beautiful. Hey, wife. Did you make it okay? Yeah. Okay, girl, we still here. We about to leave. Yeah, we about to go out. Where y'all about to go? I'm oh lord y'all better go to the club chat all right i literally just got off the phone with shay she was just making sure that i get it to get to the room so she is so sweet y'all oh my god so sweet she's literally one of us my best paypals <laughs> so i'm about to do a little editing the wedding was beautiful man when she was walking down the aisle i realized y'all I realized that one, I love weddings. I love weddings. Two, I cry every time. OMG, I cry. So, yeah. If you invite me to your wedding, I am gonna cry. This was the second wedding I've been to, and I cried. I'm telling you, the song that she walked down the aisle to, and just her, her beauty 
and just knowing her like she's she's so beautiful on the inside as well i'm just so happy for her like i just i tears start running down my eyes and let me tell you something that milk primer and that nars soft matte wedding approved okay wedding approved do y'all see my skin i'm not even oily no streaks because i cried this tart lights camera lashes waterproof because i definitely did my lower lash line oh honey that Givenchy setting powder pressure pressure okay because i'm telling you like the makeup is sitting I don't know if y'all can tell, but the makeup is sitting, okay?